environmental justice uh, embraces the principle that all communities and people are entitled to equal protection of our laws and regulations. It's been 42 years since the uh, Margaret Bean versus Southwest and Waste Management Corporation lawsuit, the first lawsuit in the United States challenging environmental racism using civil rights law. I was an expert witness on that case uh, here in Houston, and that case was filed by uh, Linda McKeagle Bullard, uh, my wife. What we found uh, is that uh, from the 20s up until 1978, 82% of all the garbage dumped in Houston was dumped on Black communities uh, in the city, even though Blacks made up only 25% of the population. Uh, it's also been 31 years since Dumping in Dixie was published, a book that I wrote in uh, 1990 um, that looked at um, racism and dumping in the Southern United States. Uh, it's no accident that the modern civil rights movement, as well as the environmental justice movement, got its birth in the South. Uh, the environmental justice movement, of course, was born in North Carolina in Warren County uh, in 1982. America is segregated and so is pollution. Uh, if all communities are not created equal. Uh, if a community happens to be poor, working class, or inhabited largely by people of color, it receives less protection. Uh, historically, there's a relationship between exploitation of land and exploitation of people. Your zip code is still one of the best predictors of health and well being. You tell me your zip code, I can tell you how healthy you are and how healthy that residential community is. Zip code also can uh, can vary in terms of what's in there that make you healthy and what's in there that make you unhealthy. Uh, in some cases, you can have uh, zip codes that are next to each other and have a life expectancy differential of 10 to 15 years. How can that be? Because of the built environment, public policies, and um, the way that uh, good things get distributed and bad things. A recent study showed that 74% of people of color are are segregated from nature. And we know the importance of nature and how nature is nurturing. Mother nature uh, don't make mistakes. Uh, so, so when we talk about living, who lives in nature deprived area, as I said before, three fourths of people of color in this country live in nature deprived areas compared to 25% of whites. Uh, racism can also segregate us from things that can be life-saving. I wrote a book called Transportation Racism New Routes to Equity, but another book called Highway Robbery. Not having transportation could be life and death when it comes to uh, exiting uh, a disaster or a storm, or when it comes to getting access to uh, a COVID test or vaccine or vaccination. And so uh, black people in this country have to travel farther distances to get them white to get to COVID shots. Black people are, and pe other people of color are more likely to be concentrated in communities, neighborhoods with hazardous waste facilities. As a matter of fact, 56% of people of color live within a two mile radius of a hazardous waste facility. Living near Superfund sites, a, two, uh, a study that came out last month showed that can, can lower your life expectancy, uh, could lead to uh, two months on average lowered life expectancy. But because Superfund sites, these dangerous um, uh, uh, facilities, I'm sorry, uh, sites that have been abandoned and they need to get cleaned up, uh, people of color are more likely to live around these facilities, which means that Superfund sites in disadvantaged communities and communities of color could cause up to 15 months loss in life expectancy. Now, people of color, black people already live shorter lives. So we don't need um, uh, pollution and Superfund sites shortening those lives. There are 13 refineries emitting harmful benzene in the United States. This is a study that was done just this month by Inside Climate News. Uh, 300,000 people live within a three mile radius of these 13 facilities. Um, that's that, that, that has that that's creating uh, these um, uh, air emissions from benzene. Benzene is a carcinogenic uh, chemical. Fifty six percent of those residents who live within a three mile radius of these 13 facilities are people of color. When we talk about environmental uh, access or environmental exposure, uh, it's not a poverty thing. Fifty black families who make fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year are more likely to live in neighborhoods that are more polluted than whites who make $10,000. Uh, 